Hi, this is Matthew with LubeCore, Minnesota. We are a lubrication company in the center of Minnesota. We work on such things as excavators, bulldozers, loaders, a lot of other agricultural equipment, tractors, combines, etc. And we've got a lot of questions on how to program our pumps. We have, we have the manual here, but today we're going to give you a little more hands-on approach on how to run a duty mode run a single cycle, run a continuous cycle, and how, to run, and how to set the off time and the on time. So basic um, progressive pump here, elements on either side, pressure gauges, some have one, some have two. In this instance, we have a six cc on this side and a two cc on this side. Now right here, you'll notice the lube core leaf that is where the sensor is to catch your magnet. Most of these come with the magnet on the side. It all depends on if you ordered or if you got it installed. Doesn't need to be a certain magnet. You can use this magnet. If you have a flashlight with a magnet in it, it works just the same. Now, as you'll see, you'll have a blinking light here. These pumps are wired into constant power, keyable accessory, and a ground. So you'll see a solid blinking light when the machine is hooked up and you cannot program it then. Once the key is turned and you get this constant blinking light, you can program it. One of the first programs is you can do a single test cycle. So right here, two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, etc. This is the on time. This is when your pump is running. And if you do this single test cycle, it will run for whatever it's, if it's set to four minutes, it will run for that four minutes and then turn off. And we'll show you now. You hold the magnet, center it over the leaf. You'll see one single line. You take that magnet off, and you will see each side build up pressure. And as you can see, you have grease moving. It will run for the one single cycle, and then it will shut off. Same as the first single test cycle, this is a continuous cycle. Magnet over the maple leaf, and we're looking for two bars two bars. Now if I let this sit, this will completely run down until the pump knows that it's empty. Not a lot of applications for this. If you just want to get grease moving or test a problem or whatever, this is your best friend. This will keep running until you tell it not to. Now on to actually programming the pump. So as you can see on our cab card, we're looking for three lines that will give us the on time programming. Now the on time on this particular pump, we have a settings of two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, and 10 minutes. That tells you how long the pump will be running when it's on time. Now to program that, you're looking for the three bars. One, two, three. And at that point, you can either place the magnet on it, and it will change the setting, otherwise a wave will get you there. Now let's say I want to do six minutes. I will go to the corresponding number, three on the digital number equals six minutes. So I want to go, and to accept it, you can just let it sit and it will accept the programming automatically or you can set the magnet onto there. And it'll automatically take the programming. And now we're going to the off time programming. This tells you how long the pump is at rest in between on time cycles. Same thing, just different timing. 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 120 minutes, 240 minutes. That just gives you the parameters on how long in between greasing cycles that you want on your machine. Same thing, you're just looking for four bars instead of three. Let's go to the pump. And now we're at the four bars. And we, as we can see, it was set to two, which is every 30 minutes, the pump will go on to the on time. Now let's say I want four hours in between each cycle. I'd go to the number five setting for 240 minutes. And the same thing applies to the on time. You can either tap or you can wave. Now I have it set to five. I could just leave this like the on time. Otherwise, you can just set the magnet on and it'll automatically save your programming. 
Now with programming one of these pumps, you want to be a little bit careful. It depends on if you bought from our supplier and installed it yourself, or if you have one of our lube core technicians come and install it for you. They usually have it set to where in the past it's worked for us. Now on this one in particular, you have a 6cc and a 2cc element. And normally this would run, if this was on like a loader application, it would run for two minutes every hour, or if it was on an excavator, it'd run for four minutes every hour and so on. Now with this being said, remember that if you, you know, if you're seeing too much grease and you try to set it down, depending on the timing that you set it down to, you could be halving or doubling your grease input every time it comes on. For instance, let's say you have two minutes every 30 minutes and you don't think that is enough grease, you could try two minutes every 15 minutes. That almost doubles your grease input. Plenty of different ways to go about it, but just be weary that you could be doubling or halving your greasy input. Now one way to figure that out is if you need less, you can always call LubeCore Minnesota and ask about our elements. We have a few different sizes and they ultimately determine how much grease is coming through here. Now you can see right now I have the pump on continuous mode and you can see that the greases are coming out at a very different rate. Now if you mess with that timing you could see oh I've got too much grease and you try to mess with the on time or the off time and then you end up having double the than what you thought which is already too much. So we hope this video kind of helps you understand that between the elements and the timing, there's a few different factors in how this grease comes out of this pump. From us here at LoopCore Minnesota, we'd like to say thanks for watching the video. I hope it was able to help uh, somebody out there in the field or who has questions and, you know, basic knowledge of your own pump on your machine. Now, one thing to know is we have a few different style of uh, pumps, size reservoirs, you know, just different applications for different machines. Right here we have the 6kg progressive. We have the 4kg 210. This is an air pump. This goes on a lot of dump trucks, plow trucks, you know, a lot of on-road um, capabilities and it goes off of electricity and air. And then this is like our progressive, just a 4kg spider. It goes multi-line, but as far as programming them, they all have the same way to program, same way to program same way to program. The only thing that would somewhat differ is some of our newer air pumps, they go off minutes and seconds, but the cab cart is in here. And if you have any questions or concerns or need to know anything about your pump, how to program it, how to really do anything with the pump, you can check out the link below, contact us. We'd be happy to help you walk through your pump, how to program it, how to do different settings on it, how to get parts, products, we're always here to listen, we're always here to help.